Okay, so here if we use clipboards, then we get um, quite a distance, quite a uh, quite a large height value to the cord. Um, if we use a smaller surface, um, I don't know, maybe a CD case in this example, um, then the cord length is shorter, and so that means there's more uh, polygons. That, and the word when when the polygon is made uh, from the surface is called uh, tessellation. Okay, so when the surface is tessellated, uh, made into polygons, then uh, when we have more of them, then obviously the cord length is shorter, and so the cord height is also uh, lesser. Uh, as far as that goes, if we do something really small, uh, like postage stamps or something, then it's even shorter. And I don't even know, maybe this is business cards. Um, shorter cord, shorter cordal height, and surface gets smoother and smoother and smoother. Okay, so there's my, every time I do that example on a video or on the phone, I sit next to Mr. Chris Hancock and he kind of rolls his eyes and go, here comes the basketball and here comes the clipboards. So, I guess you have to be there. Um, we'll go ahead and get rid of those. And knowing that then, the, the uh, smaller we make that number, and so what it's saying is the deviation of the edge or the chordal height cannot be greater than one one hundredth of a millimeter. Okay, so there's tens, there's hundreds, which is which is quite a small um, area or a size. For rapid prototyping, for most all parts though, we tend to want to overkill this a bit and make sure that it fills in um, rounded areas very well. And so I generally recommend 0 .002 for that value. So let's go ahead and hit OK and watch what happens. All right, so we'll take this mesh and put it over here. This one was 0 .01, maximum distance edge to surface, 0 .002. Now, on the areas that are large and flat, here, 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 there's no difference. A little bit of more detail here and here because it's trying to keep the roundness. See, it's got to keep this circle round, so it's got to insert more detail to maintain it. But there's the point zero 0.01 and what the setting does. And you can see we're actually getting some faceting here. And this would be realized in the part. It would show up. Okay? Um, you wouldn't notice it so much here. But there still is some, some flatness to this. Okay? Um, would it cast and polish out? Probably. Probably be just fine. Um, but here, where it needs more detail, where it needs to go around a corner, because it can't deviate from that true surface, then it has to put in more triangles, more polygons, and fill it in. So again, this is the same pattern. It's just filled in more. Um, that's fine. It's, it's really not going to be that much more overhead. Uh, the one has... 3,175 polygons. This one's probably going to be uh, what did I click on? Where where did that go? Oh, there it is. 10,000. It's three times as much. But it's going to be a smooth surface, I guarantee you. Okay. So, and you can experiment with your own settings. You might say, well, you know what, man, you know, the stuff I do, uh, I just can't tell the difference. I recommend 
um, whatever your rapid prototyping solution is, milling, um, what I call growing, um, and some models don't grow, they, they go opposite, they hang. Um, but anyway, you know, 0 .01 uh, might be too much. Uh, 0 .002 might be uh, overkill for you. So you might go uh, point, uh, oops, point zero zero seven, uh, or maybe maybe six, which is heading to point zero one. So we'll hit that. All right, and so now we have a little bit more detail here more detail here and um, the uh, count on this one is 4500 and uh, maybe that's a setting you like and that works great for your models um, okay let's take a look at some of the other settings and what they do for us and why we may or may not use them the density is a general overall slider that they uh, are uh, value that McNeil put in um, just in Rhino 4. Up until Rhino 4, we did not have the density setting. Okay, so this setting, what it does is it kind of uses an overall formula to get to um, a good overall mesh setting. I find it tends to, in my opinion, it tends to mimic the maximum distance edge to the surface. So let's do this. Let's put this at one. And the, the operative uh, range for this particular um, value is zero to one. Putting in uh, five um, won't do anything. As a matter of fact, um, yeah, it knocked it down to zero right before it went. Let's get this mesh. Yeah, there's uh, that's not going to work out so good. Um, so I don't know if you caught it, but right when, right when it went, it jumped to uh, zero. So anyway, uh, density one, okay. All right. So now let's bring this over here, and let's come back and go. Mm -hmm. Maximum distance edge to surface. Let's do the zero two point zero zero two. The one I like for prototyping and let's move this right over here right next to it hmm very similar very similar I mean right down to uh, interesting here a little deviation here but as you can see this is uh, very close to the setting that uh, that we recommend for growing um, or for making STLs. Uh, so let's go put this back to zero and do um, 0.5 on the density. So you might say, well, why you know my, why mess with all that other stuff? Why don't you just do everything at a density of of one? And I guess, you know, if it mimics what we're doing here, then uh, go for it. But it is, it is um, you know, it does, like I say, use a formula. And you're not really controlling what you're doing because maximum edge length, you're not going to be able to ever get what you want with density. Uh, like I say, to me, it's doing um, max distance edge to surface. That's the formula that it's using. Okay, so now... Let's look at one of the other settings. Let's take this out. And now you'll notice that what I'm doing here is I am not going to mix controls. In other words, I'm not going to go, oh, give me, uh, you know, give me 0.2 maximum edge length, but give me maximum distance edge surface 0 0.01 and, you know, throw in some density there too. They're going to cancel each other out. You're not going to 
you're not going to be controlling it the way that you would if you do these individual settings. Okay, so we've already learned edge to surface. We've already learned max edge length. Let's take a look at maximum angle. And what, what maximum angle does is it looks at a surface and it looks how a surface changes and the angle that you draw the polygon to that surface says, hey, you know what? If, if this surface changes, the angle of the surface changes, then draw more polygons to keep it smooth. And then when it flattens out based on the angle that you give it, then draw less. And so it's really good for undulating surfaces where it goes flat and then it gets curvy and then it gets flat. And um, so here we go. Let's go maximum angle now. The, the default for this for a rhino is 20, and I believe they go up to 90. I have found that anything over 90 doesn't change. You can put in 90 or you can put in 1,000, and the mesh is going to look the same. Okay, so let's, let's try rhino's default value of 20 with nothing else and hit OK. So this isn't a bad mesh, but it's not a good mesh because... Um, a little too faceted here. Um, now, is this... Let, let's take a look at this, because if we do a setting, let's go... Let's go... Zero this out. And let's compare this with maximum distance edge to surface 0 0.01. And that's the why I like to use this one, to compare... Eh, that's a little bit too. We need it a little more coarse. So, um, 0 0.01. Let's go 0 0.04. And that's one more try. 0 0.20. I should have hit pause. And, all right. Oh, man. Eh, eh, eh. Let's try that. Okay, I'm close. These I'm trying to look right here and kind of match these. But what do we got going on? By doing an absolute value of uh, 0 0.025, you'll notice that when it gets to this corner, it's still just doing that chordal length and chordal height the same way no matter what. It's going, oh, okay, I'm not deviating by any more than that. But the angle command, when it gets to this corner, goes, oh, you know, based on the angle that you gave me to go across here, this 20 